Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a determination for a child at risk. In order to be able to complete a determination, you need to ensure your user role access has ACCS marked as full. You can then go to the child's details page and click on the child wellbeing tab. Before you can create a determination for a child, the child must have had a certificate for up the total of six weeks within a 12 month cycle. You can then click on to add a new determination. You would select the child's active enrollment, select the previous certificate on file and previous determination if applicable. And you can select the number of weeks at risk. For a normal determination, this would be up to the total of 13 weeks. However, if you would like to apply for an extension, you can apply for a determination up to the total of 52 weeks. If you are applying for this in the extension reason box, you would need to select one of the two options. The child is in long-term protection order or the child is in formal foster care or kindship care. You would need to supply evidence for one of these reasons. And if approved, this means the child's determination will last up to the 52 weeks, saving you from creating those determinations each quarter. You would need to select the start date of the determination. Now, without any evidence, you can backdate up to 28 days for the start date. However, you can update the start date to the total of 13 weeks in the past if you have an exceptional circumstance reason. That may be a delay in the evidence or there may be another reason that you need to supply details below. This is up to the ACCS team on whether or not they approve for the back date of the 13 weeks. You need to select the risk reasons for the determination, the start date and the organisation name you are submitting this to, the person that is being notified, their last name and first name also. And you need to select one of the two options. The provider has been notified by the state or territory, which means you have been notified and you have documentation and evidence of this. Or you are notifying the state or territory. Select the body type the contact details of the State Territory Department if you have been notified. And then your supporting documents. And just like certificates, you may need to upload the same evidence more than once. So for example, your ACC002, your child wellbeing evidence. But then it also may be the same evidence if you're applying for an exceptional circumstance. So this would be your ACC 008. If you have been notified by the State Territory, you also need to upload that documentation. Save your documents, click the declaration and click save. All determinations need to be approved from the ACCS team and will sit as a pending status until approved. For further information on how to create a determination for a child at risk, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.